Hey guys, this is Metagross Freak, and chances are, if you've been playing Borderlands or even know what Borderlands is, this is the most badass you've seen Claptrap be. Now, probably if you've played Borderlands or have watched a friend play it, you know that Claptrap gets that that this giant door in the background open, which is a running gag in the game. However, with Borderlands the pre-sequel, this is the Claptrap we're given. A Claptrap with, you know, with a supply belt and big guns and even a cute little beret and suspenders. However, we don't know what Claptrap does yet in the pre-sequel. However, I'd like to speculate a little bit of something. Based on both the comments of popular YouTuber Morning After Kill, plus my own theory, this is my idea of what Claptrap might do in the upcoming pre-sequel coming out this October. The idea is that Claptrap is being controlled by Angel. After giving it some thought, Angel can control Hyperion technology. We've seen that. That's basically the whole point of Borderlands 2. And if Angel was controlling a Claptrap during the pre-sequel, this would mean he'd be extremely OP. Plus, we haven't seen a Siren revealed for the pre-sequel yet. We know about Nisha, who isn't a Siren, Wilhelm, who obviously isn't a Siren, and Athena, who isn't a Siren. But if Angel was controlling Claptrap, he would technically be the game's Siren character, which I think would be kind of a clever idea to do. Not only that, but Claptrap might not remember what happened to him while being controlled, but he does know that Jack was trying to kill all the Claptraps, obviously from the revolution, or possibly as a result of not wanting to anyone to repeat what he did with this Claptrap. I think that the, all the Claptraps we saw in Windshear Waste are not from Jack's campaign to kill them all, but maybe the dumping ground of the Robot Revolution's aftermath, or possibly even Claptraps that our lovable friend here has killed himself. And it could be that just Angel, Clap, Angel controlled Clappy a little too hard, and he doesn't remember their transport. Now, that being said, we don't know anything yet about what Claptrap could do, but I have a couple of theories. We know that Claptrap being a steward bot is really into opening doors. I think there could just be several secret passageway areas that only Claptrap could get into as part of an action skill. All of his rest, all the rest of his skills could be like Axton's gunpowder tree, where every all of his skills just make him really good at doing things. Like, he could have one tree where he's just really good at shooting, or a tree that's really good with grenades, or something like that. Until we find out, we can't really know. However, I think that it would be cool if his hat was his class mod. In the original Borderlands 1, we saw that the different weapon types on the weapon card were reflected by what different things Claptrap had. Like, for example, a Viking helmet, or a military helmet, or even a beret, and stuff like that. If different types of hats were Claptrap, Clap Traps class mod, that would maybe reflect different play styles. You could maybe have a skill tree that, you know, is for snipers and pistols, one that's for, say, shotguns and rockets, and another one that's for SMGs and assault rifles. And depending on which tree you have, different hats, different class mods, which would be different types of hats, would have different effects on them. I think it'd be kind of cool, because then, you know, you'd still be able to have kind of that, like, Mordecai, Roland, Lilith kind of thing from the first Borderlands brought back, and less of the every weapon is for everyone kind of thing. I don't know. Those are just my ideas, and I'd love to hear what you have to think, since we don't know exactly what Claptrap can do yet. Um, 
Obviously, I will do an update when we find out and to see how accurate I was. So until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and thank you for watching.